So when I was looking at the list of assignments I asked you to do for Tuesday, I realized that we didn't get to talk about how to approach one of them in class on Friday, and I meant to. So what I've done is I created this quick little video for you to watch to substitute for what I would have said in the classroom. And what we want to talk about is finding a book for paper number three in which we're going to explore a career. Now, what I asked you to do last week was to write about a dream career, and a lot of you did a beautiful job with it with your excellent uh, blog posts, and we had a fun conversation about those on Friday. And in that case, you were exploring uh, a dream without any conditions, right? I said, go for it. Don't, don't worry about being realistic. Don't worry about uh, having the, the resources you need to make that happen. Just pick a dream career and write about it. Well, you can continue in that same vein if you want to for paper number three, but we're going to switch to a research focus where you're going to find a book related to your either your dream career or one that you're actually pursuing and explore it as a tool for understanding that career. So again, you can still pursue that dream career. I think in class we had uh, a couple artists presenting their views and you can still explore those dreams or you have a choice to be more practical if you'd like. You can focus on your planned major or your planned career. And obviously those of you who your dream career and your planned career match, well, you've got it made because uh, whatever book you choose related to your field will connect to both your dream and your plan. Plan. So that's the movement we're making here. Where we went well, last week, we focused on a dream career. This year, we want to, this year, this week, we want to focus on uh, a, a career we want to research, a career we want to further investigate, and that could be the dream career or a more practical one. And what we're going to do is go out either in the uh, Mirror Coastal Library or any of the library you want, or you can go on Amazon and find a book uh, there if you want to buy one. Uh, you don't need to do that. You're going to find a full-length book or e-text. And the criteria is something a person wishing to become an expert in your career, major, or related field would study, read, or write. And what you want is as complex and demanding a text as you can find. The more rigorous and technical the text, the more helpful it will be for you assessing what it tells you about your career and what it tells you about the, your potential experience of that career. Um, do not freak out if your text is huge because you will not be reading the entire text. You'll be using it as a research tool so you can really explore uh, your career in terms of either Bain, if you decide to use that text as your as an application, or from our Miracosta College uh, general education outcomes. So you're going to have plenty to say about the text that you choose, uh, and you'll have a lot more to say if you pick a rich, complex, and demanding text. So there was just a little, a few verbal things that I wanted to share with you that I meant to say in class that I hope provide a little context for the assignment. So as I said, uh, have fun out there, and of course, let me know if you need help.